Good morning, good morning. We are going for brunch right now. Two heads ready for cold weather. You look like a celebrity. Thank you. <laughs> we are absolutely notorious for going to Dila, Della, all the time for brunch in Galway. So we're going to try another old reliable Ordbia. I haven't been there um, in a good while actually. On the weekdays they do a breakfast as opposed to brunch um, and it's a weekday. So um, I haven't gone to a breakfast there. So let's see what it's like. We looked it up though, the menu looks lovely. And it's a great day, look at the sun. Like it's a little cloudy, but it's lovely. just getting ready but you are going to laugh so much when you hear where we're going. It was my dog's birthday this week. She turned 12. Can you believe it? And we are <laughs> there's a hotel right beside where we live. They have a dog menu. So they have like a dog food menu. Oh my god I struggle so much with my earrings. Anyways they have a dog food menu. So we're taking my dog out on a birthday celebration. We're going for dinner for my dog's birthday and she's coming. She's allowed into the restaurant and everything. She's allowed to sit at the table. I've never done this, so I, I just think it's hilarious and you just have to come along and see the whole situation. And if it's not hilarious enough, us just like walking in with a dog, the dog is gonna be wearing one of our outfits. Mom has like jackets for the dog and all this stuff, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, baby girl. Hi. The tail is wagging, so that's a good sign. Oh. <laughs> Myself and my two good friends are going to brunch today. It, honestly, you can't be making videos like this, Stephanie. What the hell? I'm just in a rush, okay? Um, we are going. We are going for brunch. We're going to hide and go away, which I don't usually go for brunch, but they do like um, mimosas and all that kind of stuff. It's like a very girly 
spot and um i'm pretty much ready now am i you know what's a big affair when i put on the bottom mascara i'm very excited brunch scares me brunch scares me because it's just so early and then most is they're just it's just deceiving and i just last time i went to like a, a big girly brunch like this was a disaster so i'm gonna be cautious today I'm just waiting for Lisa to drop off her stuff before we head in. I'm actually not rushing out the door. This is amazing. Anyone who drinks Prosecco knows it goes straight to your head. It's like figuring out how to pace yourself. I am looking forward to hide though. I'm serving. I'm serving. me when I'm about to go to the pee pee. <laughs> Did you video this? Yes, she's a viewer. <laughs> hmm, yeah. <laughs> I badly need to clean up my room. And just sort my life out so i'm going to do that now i just have clothes everywhere. I've gotten to the stage in my life where I'm kind of wearing my mom's clothes from when she was younger kind of love it i'll show you these little pieces actually this is a cute top fabric gorge little cowl neck so fun and it's cool skirt it like clings to you goes all the way down really cool i feel like they'd be really cute together i feel i literally feel just like my mother oh i have to get ready i'm going for dinner with Peter. We've been um, wanting to go to a place called Sangria in Galway for so long. I just booked it for us because what are we waiting for? It's a tapas place. There's really great tapas places in Galway. So I'd be interested to see what this one's like. I've just heard amazing things. I've only heard good things. Um, can I tell you something kind of weird? I just had an app there and I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> the nightmares and dreams I have are just the worst. Like, does anybody else get horrendous nightmares? It's, it's, it's horrendous nightmares sometimes. And if it's not that, it's like extremely vivid dreams, like all night. Like they say, or what I think they say, is that you only dream like the last hour before you wake up. But I'll wake up at like 12. I'll have already had dreams. I'll go back to sleep. I'll wake up at 3. I'll have had dreams. Am, am I just dreaming all night? Am I just dreaming all night? I wake up and I'm wrecked. I feel like I've lived a double life, a triple life, octuple life, whatever the word is. And they're really, it can really depend. So for example, I just had a nightmare there and have you ever had a, what are they called again? Panic dream? No, what are those dreams where you can't move? Oh no, I'm gonna need to look this up. This is gonna really annoy me. Sleep paralysis, sleep paralysis. I get that sometimes and it freaks me out. I get it in various stages. Sometimes I'm like physically can't move, like in real life one time ah they're so freaky they freak me out so much the flight i took when i moved from new york over to san diego that whole flight i slept and i had sleep paralysis the whole flight i knew i was asleep and i couldn't wake up and my neck was like down and i couldn't get up i was physically awake my eyes were awake but i couldn't move it was it's actually the creepiest thing ever i hate it so much it always stresses me out it always makes me upset <sighs> anyways i had a variation of that where it wasn't like a physical pain at all and it wasn't I was able to move in the dream but like I was debilitated if that makes sense so basically I have this reoccurring nightmare where I'm in a car I'm in a car it's stationary and I'm in like either passenger seat or the back seat and then the car starts moving and then I have to jump into the driver's seat and basically stop the car but I'm super debilitated, like everything is slow motion. So I'm like trying to get out of the passenger seat. Everything is just so stressful. No, they fully freak me out. They fully, why do I have them? 
and basically the the car is going downhill and it's a busy hill and it's like kind of a never ending hill and then all of a sudden it come there's like an ending and there's like something in the way so the dream I had just there was there was a person and I had to stop the car before it hit the person it's so scary and then I always just wake up I just wake up and I honestly think I've had that dream about like eight times in the last year I <laughs> why what are you trying to tell me dear lord I've had them since I was a young girl and I had them so bad that when I was going to bed at night my mum used to have to hold my hand because I'd cry every night going to bed. Anyways, on a lighter note, I'm gonna get ready for dinner. Can you tell I dyed my hair? Maybe it's not super noticeable, but it's way darker than it usually is. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've got some gray hairs. I've got some gray hairs. I've been going gray hairs for a while, like maybe two, three years, and they only come here in my middle part. And I know all the Gen Zs say that the middle split is way better and superior to the side split. But your girl's going gray. Your girl is going gray. So side split till I die. I'm literally just about to put some of this into my hair. And I bought this in Orlando, if you watch my Orlando vlog. Guys, obsessed. I don't find it easy to get good hair products. So when I find them, I'm telling you about them, okay? So if you've curly hair like me, curly that goes frizzy, very quickly this is so good so it's a bb curl light defining cream it was just the girl in sephora that pointed out to me so good you just put it like all in your hair like roots to tip and then you just like scrunch and it's so good like your hair dries but no frizz kind of like a mousse effect except it's hard not hard it's not hard it's like soft we love it it actually sounds like i'm doing an ad for this but i'm not if you think i was sponsored by this brand you're you're delusional so I'm editing a video here and the weather outside is class. So I'm trying to do it outside. <laughs> Please look at my setup. <laughs> how are you lads? How are you getting on? I can't, this is so funny. <gasps> also from editing this video, I'm realizing how much I eat out. Like what? I put up on Reel on Instagram a couple of weeks ago when I went up to Dublin and I just like put in all the food places we ate because they were all really really nice. The post has like 10,000 views which is crazy for me. I, You probably don't even follow me on Instagram, I don't really do much over there. And the post has nearly 200 saves, like saves. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. The most saves I ever got before were like seven. So I think I found my niche guys. I think I found my niche. But when I think about it, it's actually a good idea. Like I should do them for Galway as well, like places to eat, places to go. Because I would get messages, because I put up so many videos, like Galway vlog, Dublin vlog, I'll get a message and it's like, can you recommend places to stay? And if I like had videos or something, I don't know, thinking out loud, or if I made like a little post, or if I made like an Instagram guide, I was thinking of doing that before. Could do that. Would that be a good idea? What would you? What, what do you think? What do you think I should do? I'd say my most frequent DMs, like in my requests, I have two things. One is asking for food recommendations of either Dublin or Galway. And number two, number two is the phone number for Gabriel who did the boat trip in Italy. We did a boat trip in Bostano. I like link the video here. It was a really, really fun trip. And we uh, got this amazing eight hour boat tour with this guy called Gabriel. I I think I get a message for his details every day. 
I swear to God. So Gabriel, I think I think I've brought a lot of business to you. If you're watching, I know you're not, but it's kind of hilarious, no? So weird the way that happens. Anyways, I really should not be talking in the camera when I look like this. Things to normalize this.